In the previous video, we talked to you about a series of stories about the development of various types of Chinese aircraft carriers, such as the Fujian ship, Liaoning ship and so on. Today, let's talk about China's catapult development. As we all know, China's Fujian ship aircraft carrier installation uses three electromagnetic catapults. In fact, there was a plan to use two steam catapults during the development of Chinese aircraft carriers. But why was this plan aborted? Today we will talk about this issue. In the development of aircraft carriers, catapult technology breakthrough is always an important measure of a country's naval strength. Currently the world's active aircraft carriers, only the United States and France, a total of 13 equipped with catapults including the United States Nimitz class and France Charles de Gaulle steam catapults, while China's Fujian ship and the U.S. Ford class is a pioneer and carry electromagnetic catapult system. The choice of this technology path reflects the deep understanding of each country of the combat effectiveness of aircraft carriers and the shape of future naval warfare. Looking back at the development of Chinese aircraft carriers, the leapfrog development from skidding takeoff to electromagnetic catapulting implies a game of key technologies and the wisdom of strategic choices. The technology of the catapult has a direct impact on the effectiveness of the carrier's operations. Under the skidding takeoff mode, J15, F35B and other models must sacrifice more than 30% of the bomb capacity and 20% of the fuel carrying capacity, resulting in limited combat radius and mission flexibility. In contrast, catapult takeoff not only allows J15T, Rafael M and other fighters to achieve full load takeoff and landing, but also to expand the combat radius by more than 40%. This performance generation difference is particularly fatal in oceanic operations, making catapults the standard equipment for aircraft carriers of major countries. The United States since the 1950s accumulated steam catapult technology is more reliable, but its huge volume occupies valuable space on the carrier. A single catapult needs to consume 625 kilograms of steam and 1.35 megajoules of energy. The overall efficiency is less than 60%. These shortcomings become more and more prominent in the era of electromagnetic catapulting. China's exploration of carrier catapult technology began at the turn of the century, with a team of researchers already working on catapult technology when the Veryag was being built in 2006 and satellite images of a land-based catapult test base were revealed in 2014, showing that China's steam catapult technology is maturing. According to the original planning of Project 048, the second domestic aircraft carrier will use conventional power with two steam catapults, displacement of about 65,000 tons. The overall design concept is similar to the U.S. CVV program in the 1970s. This is known as 002 type, program has entered the engineering preparation stage, but at the critical moment encountered the impact of technological revolution, turning point in the electromagnetic catapult technology breakthrough. Academician Ma Wuming's team developed a medium voltage DC integrated power system to overcome the core problems of electromagnetic catapult, compared with the United States Ford class medium voltage AC program. China's technology route in the energy utilization system stability and other aspects of the formation of the generation gap advantage. 2015 around the time of the electromagnetic catapult land test breakthrough, the catapult efficiency of 92%. The maximum catapult frequency of a single day exceeded 300, far more than the limit value of the steam limit value of steam catapult. At this time, the decision makers are faced with a major choice. Is it prudent to adopt the mature steam catapult? or to take the risk of crossing over to the electromagnetic new track. The Navy's equipment department has found that the electromagnetic program has disruptive advantages after rigorous demonstration. Its volume is 35% smaller than the steam system, and it can carry 12 more carrier aircraft. The range of ejection weight adjustment is expanded to 345 tons, which can eject light drones as well as cope with heavy AWACS and the efficiency of energy consumption is improved by four times, which is particularly important for conventionally powered aircraft carriers. More critically, electromagnetic ejection reduces maintenance requirements by 60% and saves $4 billion in whole life costs. These advantages have prompted China to make the strategic decision of cross-generation development, but the resulting window of time needs to be filled properly in order to balance the time gap between technology leapfrogging and combat capability generation, the Navy launched a two-step contingency plan. On the one hand, 
It urgently modified the design and upgraded the original 002 program to an 80,000-ton electromagnetic catapult carrier. On the other hand, it launched the Shandong Ship Project in 2013 to optimize the Liaoning design to maintain the continuity of carrier construction. This transition ship strategy ensures that China reaches the goal of dual carrier battle group in 2020 and strives for a critical window of time for the perfection of the electromagnetic catapult system. It is worth noting that although the Shandong ship follows the slipstream design, the flight deck area has been enlarged by 10%, and the hangar capacity has been increased by 8 racks, preserving the upgrade space for subsequent technology verification. The emergence of the Fujian ship marks a comprehensive breakthrough in Chinese aircraft carrier technology. The configuration of the three electromagnetic catapults has been precisely calculated, two forward catapults are dedicated to heavy takeoffs, while the third angled deck catapult takes care of light and heavy models, and this layout enables an average daily sortie of up to 180, a 20% increase compared to the Nimitz class. The supporting J-15T and Airborne Police 600 early warning aircraft form a complete combat system, in which the catapulted J-15T has increased its bomb capacity to 12 tons and its combat radius has expanded to 1,500 kilometers. More far-reaching impact is that the electromagnetic catapult technology has been extended to the field of amphibious assault ships. 076-type electromagnetic catapult will be equipped with a mix of unmanned and manned aircraft, creating a new paradigm of global amphibious operations. Looking back at China's catapult development history, from steam to electromagnetic path selection is no coincidence. Steam catapult reached the practical level in 2014, but its technological ceiling has already appeared. Electromagnetic catapult not only represents the future direction, but also with China's breakthroughs in power electronics, high energy materials and other fields to form a technological resonance. This strategic foresight to avoid the old road of development is backward so that China's aircraft carrier construction has achieved a qualitative leap from catching up to running in parallel. When the Fujian ship's sea trial trajectory breaks through the blue waves, it not only carries the maturity of the domestic electromagnetic catapult technology, but also indicates the Chinese Navy's firm pace towards the deep blue.